As always, please pause the video to consider the question before listening. This question is asking us to calculate the limit as x approaches infinity of the following rational function. Now, a rational function is kind of a technical definition, but it basically means that you have a polynomial divided by another polynomial. Now, 1 is one of the more simpler polynomials, but it is considered 1, and 2x plus 3 is also a polynomial. So in this case, we have a rational function. And to evaluate the limit as x approaches infinity of a rational function, we're going to employ a certain technique. And that technique is to divide each term of the rational function by the highest power of x in the denominator. So if you look at the denominator carefully and ask yourself, what is the highest power of x, you should see that the largest power of x is actually a 1. The 1 is not written, but it is implied as the exponent of that x. So since the largest power of x is x to the 1, what we're going to do is divide each of the terms by x to the 1. Now, if you just want to write x rather than x to the 1, that would be acceptable. So let's take a look at what the limit is after we divide each term by the highest power of x. Now, if you examine this term carefully, right here, you should see that the x in the numerator and the x in the denominator are going to cancel. So we can cancel those out. That doesn't happen with the 3 divided by x. There's nothing to cancel. And same with the 1 divided by x. So we can rewrite this limit just one more time. So after simplifying the expression, we are now able to basically plug infinity in for x. So we have to imagine that x is growing to infinity. And so this term up here in the numerator becomes 1 divided by infinity. And it turns out that a constant, such as 1, divided by infinity actually equals 0. So the numerator of this expression, of this limit, actually becomes 0. Now, there's no variable anymore in this term, so that's just going to remain as a 2. And then here we have another instance of a constant divided by x. And as x grows to infinity, we know that the expression 3 divided by x will actually become 0, similar to what happened in the numerator. So we're actually left very simply with 0 divided by 2, which, of course, is 0 and the answer.